NFL point spreads, week three. Uh, Cleveland Browns, by the way, the best team in the National Football League at two and one. And they won last night, just like I surmised and predicted. Um, Detroit Lions getting six at the Minnesota Vikings. I got news for you, Vikings fans. You got a new coach. You thought you were back to uh, formality uh, after the first week. The Detroit Lions are real. They're walking into that hostile environment. They're going to beat you guys up and down that field. 34-17. I definitely like the Lions this game. Lions playing good ball. They're playing good ball, huh? Dan Campbell's got them boys playing like Dave Garcia did when he took over the Cleveland Indians in 1983, I think it was. He won a 10 0 run. Shit, the better the rest of the season, but anyway. Baltimore Ravens giving the New England Patriots two and a half at New England. When's the last time the Patriots are home underdogs against the Baltimore Ravens? Um, Lamar Jackson's playing good this year. There's no doubt about it. He's playing the best he's ever played because he's not been a good quarterback the last uh, since he came in the league. He had that one MVP year. It was a fluke. But he's playing good ball right now. But it's at New England. New England's offense is visibly shaken. Baltimore coming off a humiliating uh, 28-3 fourth quarter debacle, which they lost the game and lost a 21-point lead in the fourth quarter. Um, but I tell you, this is Bill Belichick. He's got something in store for Lamar Jackson. And Lamar Jackson's trying to play mind games with him, said he's going to throw a lot. I'm going to throw a lot. You can't play mind games with Bill Belichick. Look for the Patriots to open up the offense. 34. The Baltimore Ravens, 20. It's going to be a decisive win for the New England Patriots. New Orleans Saints giving three to the Carolina Panthers at Carolina. Baker Mayfield. <laughs> he's going to have one of the worst games ever. Four interceptions. Uh, he's going to be benched. New Orleans Saints are coming for blood. This Carolina Panther team has no leadership. Uh, Baker Mayfield's horrible. As you've seen yesterday, Jacoby Brissett looks like a top-ten quarterback in this offense. Baker Mayfield couldn't do the whole fucking his whole tenure in Cleveland. Uh, I like the Saints in this game. 28-9. Uh, to uh, 28 to nine. Panthers don't get on the board with a touchdown. They kick field goals. Houston Texans getting three at Chicago. Oh, Davis Mills started that strong and folded. I like the Chicago Bears and Justin Fields. I think Justin Fields is going to take a monumental leap. A monumental leap this year, or uh, this game. 31-16. I just think their offense is too powerful. Justin Fields is going to take a monumental leap, and I like the fucking Chicago Bears in this game. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs giving the Indianapolis Colts five and a half. Divisional game. No, not a divisional game, but giving the Colts five and a half. Uh, the Colts are playing terrible. They're 0-2. Matt Ryan's struggling. Frank Reich's on the hot seat. No matter how you slice it, I like the Colts this game. It's going to be a high-scoring affair. I like the Colts this game 38-34 to uh, 34, to win the game outright. They need a win. Without a win, they're done. Their season's over. I like the Colts to rebound. Frank Reich's a good coach. It's not they're not playing good ball. But they will this week. Third off the Eagles, giving the commanders six and a half. Jalen Hurts, second best quarterback in the league behind uh Jacoby Brissett. No, Jacoby Brissett's a beast, best Alabama quarterback in the league at this juncture. Um the commanders, Carson Wentz, he's gonna fold. The Eagles defense is too good. He'll throw three interceptions. I like the Eagles in this game. And a blowout, 40 to 17. I don't see the Redskins having a chance. Uh, yeah, the Redskins. Fuck the Commanders. I don't, I don't see the Redskins having a chance, even though they're my face favorite, first favorite team. Um, Jalen Hurts is putting on a clinic out there. And I'll be honest with you. I didn't think he was an NFL quarterback, but I was wrong. He's a beast. Syriano got them boys believing. Uh, talented bunch. It's a great team. And if I didn't like the Browns, I might start liking the Eagles as my NFC team. But, yeah, the Eagles win this game 40 to 17. Buffalo Bills giving the Miami Dolphins five and a half at Miami. You know, a lot of people think the Buffalo Bills are for real, and they are for real. However, going down to Miami in that heat, acclimation time. Uh, I think the Miami Dolphins coming off that uh, beatdown of the Ravens they gave last. They scored 28 points in the fourth quarter. Um, I don't know if Tua can keep it up against this Buffalo Bills defense, but the weather is going to play a factor. What I mean by that is the heat. I think the heat's going to get to the Bills players. I think the Dolphins win this game outright. I think the Dolphins win this, take sole possession of first place. 24 to 20. I like the Dolphins in this game. I just think they're, uh, I think that heat's going to get to the Bills. 24 20. Cincinnati Bengals giving six to the New York Jets at New York. We all see what happened to the Bengals last year at New York. They had a big lead and they folded. Joe Burrow's playing like Macaulay Culkin. I've always told you Joe Burrow's not an elite quarterback. I don't know what people see in him. A weak arm, Chad Pennington. He's folding. He's scared. He holds on to the ball too long. 
He's trying to force the ball to Jamar Chase. Cover two he can't beat. Joe Burrow's uh, at average quarterback at best. I like the Jets in this game coming off the emotional victory they had over Cleveland Browns last week. I like the Jets in this game. 30 to um, 16. I think the Bengals' offense is in trouble. Joe Burrow's rattled. He deleted his Twitter, all his stuff off to his phone. He's rattled. And he's not that good to begin with. They should have drafted Justin Herbert. Las Vegas Raiders giving the Tennessee Titans two at Tennessee. There is no possible way. Well, no, no. Let me look at the quarterback situation. Ryan Tannehill is absolutely horrible. Horrible. And Malik Willis isn't ready. However, I think it's time you play him. Uh, at this juncture, you got nothing to lose. Your season's over because uh, it's too many good teams in the AFC. I do believe the Titans, if they had a quarterback, they'd win this game, but that's why the line is um, two points because they don't have a quarterback. Ryan Tannehill's going to have to step his level play up. Derrick Henry's going to have to step his level play up. I don't see the Titans losing this game. I like the Titans in this game. 26 to um, 20. Titans need a win. What's up, buddy? Beast. I know. You want to go outside. Uh, Jacksonville Jaguars getting seven at the San Diego Chargers. Um, Jacksonville's a surprise of the year right now. They beat the Colts 24 nothing. They showed them out. Of, uh, they destroyed them at Jacksonville. Now, at San Diego, this game's going to be the historic. San Diego's got too much high powered offense. Justin Herbert's got fucked up ribs, but it doesn't matter. They're going to beat the Jaguars uh, 41 to um, 14. It's going to be a blowout. Not even a close game. Walk of the day. Jaguars are flying too high. And Chargers taking them down. Atlanta Falcons getting one at Seattle. Geno Smith favored at one point at the Legion of Boom. Um, I like the Falcons this game. 1916. Falcons will win this game. Two horrible offenses. Los Angeles Rams giving three and a half to the Arizona Cardinals at Arizona. Rams need a win. Cardinals coming off an emotional victory the other day at uh, the Raiders. Or I don't know where the game was. I can care less, but whatever. They got an emotional victory. They're not that good of a team. The Rams need a win. Cause McCulloch to flash. <laughs> the Rams come out uh, 30 to uh, 14. Kyler Murray plays horrendous against that Rams defense. Green Bay Packers, the game of the week at Tampa Bay. Green Bay is getting one. Aaron Rodgers is in better shape than Tom Brady. Tom Brady looks like a Cambodian right now. His wife did a number on him. Packers receivers are going to catch balls. They're going to get acclimated. I like the Packers this game. I know the Tampa Bay defense is great. I know they're at home. But I like the Packers uh, in this game, uh, 28 to um, 20. Tom Brady has a horrible day. San Francisco 49ers giving two to the Denver Broncos at Denver. Um, Russell Wilson's he's done. He's just not that good. Nathaniel Hackett should never have got a head coaching job. He was a product of uh, Aaron Rodgers. I like the um, San Francisco 49ers with Jimmy G. In this game, somewhere in the vicinity of uh, 30 to uh, 14. I think the Broncos are in big trouble offensively. And defensively, they're not going to be able to stop grappling on the offensive, uh, the running game of the uh, 49ers. Uh, the Monday night game, Dallas getting one at New York Giants. Are the Giants for real? We're going to find out Monday. Cooper Rush is horrible. He beat the shitty-ass Bengals team. The Giants will win this game 27 to 13. The Cowboys' offense will fold. So let's see if I went through these picks. Yes, I went through them all. Got every team pick. Um, the bottom line is this. My picks are 100% accurate and authentic. They're right. They're legitimate. And if you follow my advice, you'll win millions. Billions with a B. That company's name was Gray Matter. I sold my share because I had a problem with some of the ownership. Every week, I sit there and look at it on NASDAQ. So if you ask me if I'm going to sell my soul again, the answer is no, Jesse. <laughs>